Hey everybody, welcome to another Creatorpreneurs Academy. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create your own t-shirt design for a site called Teespring. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is find a design. We're going to create our own design. Let's use, um, let's use one of the character sets. Okay, when it pops up, um, I'm going to try... I'm going to do the mannequin set, which is here. Uh, click on that. And let's get a good character like... Uh, let's do this guy. I like him. Okay, uh, we're going to now... Um, the web graphics creator creates web graphics. When you want to print, you have to make the canvas, like, really big. So the good thing about the web graphics creator is that you can do that. So if I go to Format Canvas, I'm going to go as high and as wide as I can. So I'm going to drag it here, and you'll notice that um, the percentage that I'm viewing, this isn't getting smaller, my view is getting smaller, 48%. And I'm going to go as high as I can. Let's go all the way. It goes to 5,000. And the width, I'm going to go to 5,000. Okay? Then I'm going to take the background, because that's not part of our shirt, and I'm going to keep this slogan text, and I'm going to get rid of all this stuff for now. And then, because these are high-res graphics, oh, there's a shadow here, let's get rid of that. These are high-res graphics, so I can make them as big as we can. Okay, and we're going to make the background white, so I'm going to click on the background, go to the canvas color, and let's just go all the way white. Whoops, this turned color, so where'd it go? Let's see. There he is. Let's go to the color. And let's pick a color like his shirt. So I'm going to click on the color picker here and pick his shirt color there. Turn that off. And let's make this big. Okay, uh, a slogan. Hmm. You know what? We need a slogan. I'm going to make a new window here. Type in uh, funny quotes. All right, let's see what we got. Um... I used to think I was indecisive, but now I'm not too sure. Okay, that's a good one. So I'm going to type that in here. Okay, really quick, uh, this is kind of a thin font. I'm going to go over to the text format, and I'm going to preview some Google fonts to see if I can find a fatter, uh, thicker font. So when I do this, a little window pops up, and I'm going to remove all of these so I can view only a display, which is usually big, bold. Um, that kind of thing. So Fred, Fredoka one. That looks that looks pretty good. So I remember the name Fredoka, and I can close that. Go to Google Fonts and type. Start typing Fredoka, and it pops up. Bam. There it is. And now that's pretty decent for now for the for shirt purposes. Okay, and now I'm going to take him and move him out of the way a tad because he's too big, but that works there. And let's put a little outline over the text. I'll make it a white outline with, return to menu, let's go to text shadow. Let's make the opacity down. How's that? That's better. So distance there, perfect. Okay, now I'm going to go up here to the file menu and I'm going to download the image. And if I click this transparent button here, the white background will disappear. So whatever color the shirt is, it, you won't see the white, the white square. And we'll call him uh, in D size. And then we're going to download it. It's in my downloads folder. And now I'm going to go over to the site I mentioned earlier called Teespring. So if you go to Teespring, let's, let's go to the beginning of this. If we go to teespring.com, I've already logged in. Uh, it's, it's free to, to start designing, but of course, you know, you pay for the shirts and whatnot. But let's, uh, let's start designing so I can show you really quick what this does. Okay, I'm going to uh, just pick one like this one for now. And uh, this is a good one. Okay, do I want to buy this shirt with my design or do I want to sell it? So if I want to sell it, I'm going to click this button and it's going to bring me the design. And all I have to do now is add, click on this button to add my image, go to my downloads folder, click on my indecisive, and there he is. 
and you'll notice that down here it says my print quality is it's 10 inches by 10 inches, okay? Uh, and it's, it's great. It should show up nice and sharp and clear when I print my shirt. And then I just continue on through the steps and uh, it'll show me other items that I could start selling or uh, buying like this, uh, like this hoodie. I can select the style that I like and I'm gonna go to continue. Oh, by the way, let's go back really quick. Do you see, let's see if I can edit this. No, it's not gonna look, oh, I can edit here. <clears throat> if I edit this, because we made it transparent, uh, he shows up on every every color of any shirt you wanna you wanna have. And that's how you make a custom t-shirt design that you can sell.